Greetings to all melanated people all around the world. It's really a joy, it's a blessing, it's a pleasure, it's an honor to be out in nature and greeting you, bringing a message of emancipation to you, bringing a message of self-realization to you, bringing a message that will help you to come to discover your true self if you would just have an open mind and listen to what I have to say to you. Now, my brother and my sister, I want to speak to you concerning Miles Monroe, who would have chanced and gone on, and what he was really trying to tell the people who was following his ministry. And I can see many today are holding on to the things that he would have said, but yet they're still bound to a church system, and they still believe that the Bible is literal and that the Bible is secular history but I have good news to you that's the reason why I want to tell you what Miles Monroe wanted was to tell you and he wanted was to tell you this that the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically that the Bible is not literal neither is it secular history and that the original language of the Bible was a language of symbology it was not a language that you utter uh, a language uh, a language like how I am speaking here to you. It was a language of symbology. Okay, now, many people because they're religious and because as a little child, they were contacting your subconscious mind and downloading a lot of religious information into your subconscious mind for you to have certain beliefs such as believing that the S-O-N is the light of the world instead of the S-U-N being the light of the world and that without the S-U-N there is no light and there is no life yet there are people who believe without the S-O-N there is no life and there is no light and many believe that the Bible is speaking about a literal man who existed 2000 years ago when the Bible is speaking of the creative power that is in you and I can show you that very quite simple for example, the Bible says all things were made by him in St. John chapter 1 verses 3 and without him there isn't anything made that was made. Now, that him is not a person who existed 2,000 years ago. That him is a personification of your own human imagination where it is saying all things in this world that has ever been made was first imagined and everything else that ever going to be made must first be imagined. Now, if you disbelieve what I am saying, you would have to tell me one thing in this world that was made that wasn't first imagined. Also, you would have to tell me one thing that was done in the Bible that wasn't first psychological, that wasn't first a thought. Okay, also you would have to tell me that those who was taking the, 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 the scriptures and put it in, a, in, in the way that you can read it, that it wasn't thoughts. They were using to do so. Okay, and I can go on and on and on to show you that the Bible is force of art psychological and it is never literal and has never been literal and could never be literal and that if the Bible is literal and Jesus Christ was a literal man who could have walked on literal water and turned literal water into wine and that life is in you then you have to do the same thing literally for example if I have the life of Brian Lara I have to play cricket if I have the life of Michael Jackson I have to sing and dance okay and whatever you sow is what you will reap and you can never check the laws of nature whatever life is in the seed that is what it will bring forth thus the reason why the bible tells you unless a corn of wheat fall in the ground and dies it abides alone but if it dies it brings forth much fruit much more after its own kind so the bible is not literal my brother and my sisters but for a pastor like Miles Monroe and these other pastors to come out and tell you after raising such a large congregation and making so much money, they will lose everything. Just like Carlton Pearson, who came out and tell the people that there is no literal hell that you're going to go and burn. And he lost everything. Okay? So it takes, it takes honesty and it takes gut for someone to come out plain, like how I am doing it here right now, and tell you, that the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically. That the Bible is not literal, neither is it secular history. Thus the reason why my brother and my sisters, 
everything that is in the Bible, I can show you it psychologically and also show you it in nature. So then the man who can read and write, the man who is illiterate can understand my speech. Because when a man comes to his Christ consciousness, the Bible says even the common people will understand his words. Because Jesus Christ is not a man who existed 2,000 years ago with blonde and blue eyes. It is speaking of the creative power in you to manifest your every desire. And when you speak about the cross, it is not speaking about a wooden cross. It is speaking about this cross on which we all would die. And when you speak about Golgotha, it is speaking of the place of the cranium, the place of the skull. And I'm speaking from experience because I would have experienced St. John chapter 3. Where I literally had the birth from the skull. That's why I can tell you the truth about the Virgin Mary and tell you you've been deceived. That's the reason why I have a, a, a lecture on Amazon and you can check it out called The Secret Vagina. So as above, so below. And that, that is hidden right in St. John chapter 3 also and other scriptures if you listen to my lecture. So my brother, my sisters, all those who are still holding on to what Miles Monroe was saying and thinking that Miles Monroe was preaching what they think he was preaching, these men know the truth. But many of them, as I said before, when they come to realize the truth, that the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically, and that nothing in the Bible is literal, they wouldn't want to come and tell you that to lose their whole congregation, and many of them owe the bank. So they have to continue as usual, but they will change the message that they've been preaching. Thus the reason why many of these men, you wouldn't hear them speaking about hell that much, and speaking about the devil that much, and speaking about Jesus that much. Most of them have become basically motivational speakers, and they are teaching you how you can better yourself by, by changing your mind, your mindset. So you wouldn't hear them elaborate on scriptures like, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And whatsoever things are good, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are pure, to think on them. Because they're trying to get that message across to you to tell you it's all about the mind. It's all mental. It's not about church membership. It's not about putting on nice clothes. It's not about the singing and the clapping. That's why if you check all of, I can take all of Miles Monroe messages and break them down psychologically and show you what the man is trying to say to you. When you talk about leadership and all these things, the man is pointing you to look within yourself. But many who are blind, they can't see it. And the next thing is that every pastor, when they leave in the scene or before they leave the scene, they always make sure they put the business in the name of their son or their daughter. Because it's all a business. So, my brothers and sisters all around the world and in the Bahamas, it's time to wake up out of ignorance. And I have a video called No Christian in the World Can Prove Me Wrong. And I'm here and I'm speaking to you. And I'm saying which Christian, any part of the world, want to prove me wrong. I am calling on you to prove me wrong. Because when you open your mouth and speak, it has to first be psychological. And my teaching is that the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically. So then you'll have to tell me that a word is not a thought express. And then you will have to tell me that you, you can speak, but you don't think before you speak. So then you will have to say if, you, if, if you're a fool or if you're wise. So my brother and my sisters, this truth can never be proven wrong. The love mentalism can never be proven wrong. All is mine. Everything has to force be a thought. Everything has to force be imagined. And everything in the Bible is false. Psychological. Okay? So basically, I think I covered everything. 
you know, that Miles Manu wanted was to say to the people that they just couldn't really understand and he was pointing them to show them that the power is actually within them. The power is not in the sky. They know Jesus Christ is coming back. For you, no man coming from the sky. There is no geographical Jerusalem that some man is going to come out from. But it's the Jerusalem within. And my brother and my sisters, I know that every, this message that I'm speaking will not resonate with everybody. Because many believe in education more than their own human imagination and forget that the book, the pen, the pencil, all of these things have to be forced. Imagine. But I think I've got my message across to you and I wouldn't go on any longer. So, with that being said, I want to thank you very much for listening. And I want to say to you to continue to support this work by supporting my ebooks. And I want to also let you know that very soon the hard copies will be um, available also. And for those who've been supporting us on Patreon, I want to thank you very much and I want to encourage those who haven't done so to do so because we have a lot of work to do and I have a lot of work to do within this Caribbean, in the Caribbean us and to help our brothers and sisters to wake up out of religion and come to know their true self and live in the higher mind, live in the upper room and learn to speak the universal language of consciousness. Also at this point in time, I want to also encourage you to follow me on Instagram at Black Mad Guru. And I want to now give you the sign of Matthew 6, 22, where it says, if your eye be single, your whole body would be full of light. And I'm saying to you, my brother and my sisters, when you have that experience, and you experience the new birth, you will come to realize it is the rising of the S-U-N in a S-O-N. And you come to realize it's the dawning of a new day in your life. And you come to also realize that without the sun, there is no life and there is no light. And that the sun is what puts you to sleep and the sun is what wakes you up at morning. And you come to realize that the sun parallels the human imagination and the human imagination parallels the sun. Because without the human imagination, there isn't anything made that was made. And that we are the people of the sun. Therefore, let us use our mind power to achieve our every desire. So with that being said, I want to say peace, love you. I'm out.